Tesla's newest 4680 batteries are very impressive. So impressive, in fact, that they could last for over 100 years. That's right, 100 years or even longer. There is a good reason why we need and want Tesla to continue advancing in EV technology. Studies have shown that electric vehicles are better for the environment. They produce fewer greenhouse emissions and air pollution than gasoline or diesel vehicles. However, the key to success of electric vehicles is their range, which is greatly influenced by battery capacity. And how is all of that energy stored? Thanks to Tesla and some other battery manufacturing companies, battery technology has advanced significantly from the days of lead-acid batteries, thanks to the drive for more sustainable energy. Electric vehicle batteries are used to power the electric motors of a battery electric vehicle or a hybrid electric vehicle. They are typically lithium-ion batteries with a high electric charge capacity. These batteries are distinguished by their relatively high power-to-weight ratio, specific energy, and energy density. Smaller, lighter batteries are preferred since they lower the vehicle weight and increase performance. They are different from starting, lights, or ignition batteries because they are deep-cycle batteries meant to provide power for extended periods of time. Most modern battery technologies have substantially lower specific energy when compared to liquid fuels, which often affects the maximum all-electric range of the vehicles. The top EV battery makers in the world are the industry's frontline contributors. The manufacturing size serves as a litmus test for market preferences. Recent developments in lithium-ion batteries, rapid charging and improved mileage have made electric vehicles more passenger-friendly. Interestingly enough, in a list dominated by Asia, the top five battery makers include only two Chinese companies, although extending the list would add much more to the top ten. Katel and BYD are ranked first and fourth respectively, with Panasonic of Japan ranked third, and LG Energy Solutions and SK On of South Korea ranked second and fifth. However, there is a reason why automakers have jumped ahead in this race. Because of their high energy density relative to weight, lithium-ion and polymer batteries are the most prevalent battery types in current electric cars. The thing is, the fight for battery technology isn't limited to electric vehicles. Batteries power everything, from cell phones and computers to power drills. The utility industry is an increasing source of battery demand as well. According to one of the leading energy research and consulting companies, EVs account for 80% of lithium-ion battery demand. Recently, battery makers and automakers have spent extensively developing cheaper, denser, and lighter batteries. That's right, electric vehicle batteries must be small, capable of charging rapidly, and often have enough power to get you anywhere you need to go. The most significant battery breakthroughs might come from a multitude of sources, though. Cato is developing sodium-ion batteries, while QuantumScape, Solid Power, and Toyota Motor are working on solid-state batteries. Both battery types have the potential to transform the game, but they confront technological challenges. New technologies have led to incremental advances. Some people give existing battery chemistries a fresh spin. Others alter the battery form factor or assembly to considerably improve performance or cost. Radically new chemistry and other significant advances are predicted in the future. The present EV battery landscape is dominated by lithium-ion and lithium-iron phosphate. They have advantages and disadvantages in terms of range, raw material pricing, and numerous other factors. Tesla, a renowned electric vehicle maker, uses lithium-ion and lithium-ion polymer batteries. BYD, an emerging arc rival, employs a customized LFP battery. General Motors modified the lithium-ion chemistry for their next-generation Altium batteries to significantly reduce the prices. Tesla's new 4680 battery cell promises cost savings and other advantages due to its greater size and cutting-edge engineering. 
Cato, the world's biggest battery maker, claims even more significant benefits for its new Kirin battery, partly due to how cells are assembled into packs. As a result, the capacity of an electric vehicle battery may vary from 40 kilowatt hours to 200 kilowatt hours. In comparison, the Tesla Model S and X have a 100 kilowatt hour battery and can travel for 300 miles between charges, but the Nissan Leaf has a 40 kilowatt hour battery and can travel for 149 miles between chargers. In 2020, Tesla introduced its 4680 battery cell, a new tabless battery cell in a larger size with a unique chemistry that would enable cheaper and longer range electric cars. The cells have already made their way to Gigafactory Texas, where the Model Y is being manufactured. For the first time, the vehicle maker produces electric vehicles using its own cells. However, Tesla will need so many cells that it is collaborating with existing battery providers to launch their manufacturing of the new 4680 cells. Tesla has a variety of initiatives that have the potential to disrupt the market. The 4680 cells are one of them. The 4680 batteries, created using a dry electrode method and tuned for affordability and efficiency, might very well be the key to Tesla's potential invasion of the mainstream vehicle and energy markets. However, just like with other initiatives such as Elon Musk's Alien Dreadnought factory, the pilot manufacturing of the 4680 cells has encountered some difficulties. During the second quarter 2021 earnings call, Elon Musk revealed that one of the key obstacles in the 4680 cell production ramp was linked to the battery's calendaring or the process of squashing the dry cathode material to a certain height. Some of the calendar rolls are deformed due to the usage of nickel in the 4680 cell, which is exceptionally hard. This problem only appeared in the pilot 4680 line, not on the bench or in the lab. On the other hand, Tesla's senior vice president of powertrain and energy technical, Drew Baglino, stressed that the issues at the Cato Road factory are engineering ones, not scientific ones. This suggested that with enough effort and adjustment, Tesla should be able to fix the dry battery cells calendaring concerns. Yuki Kusumi, the new CEO of Panasonic, said that the company is willing to invest significantly in creating Tesla's new battery cells if the test production is booming. Panasonic approved a $700 million investment to manufacture the 4680 cells in Japan, and it has been speculated that it is seeking a place for a new facility to manufacture the cells in the United States. The new 4680 cells tabless design also directly influences manufacturability. The design removes the requirement for a tab and eliminates the need for the manufacturing lines to hold to add the tabs. The new tabless cells avoid this stumbling block, allowing a production line that hums along rolling gigantic 4680 cells to be less prone to manufacturing faults. One of the outcomes of their efforts is a new 4680 tabless cylindrical battery cell type, which offers a slew of performance, production, and cost advantages. The new Jumbo cells measure 46 mm in diameter and 80 mm in height, as the name suggests. The bigger jelly rolls pack more active battery material into the shell, increasing energy storage by 5 and power by 6. Compared to the pack, the new form factor alone provides a 16% boost in range. As you would expect, the energy capacity of an electric car battery is determined by various variables, including the kind of battery used and the vehicle itself. Battery capacity is measured in kilowatt hours, and the larger the number, the farther the automobile can go before needing to be recharged. The improvements made in the power capacity and control of heat generation of the 4680 battery cells resulted in basically fewer cells with more power per pack in the same size packs as used with earlier Tesla models powered by various cells. In other words, Roughly 960 pieces of 4680 cells are required to occupy the same area as 4,416 2170 cells in the same amount of space, but with additional advantages such as a cheaper cost 
per kilowatt hour produced and a considerable boost in power utilizing the 4680 cell pack. Compared to the 2170 cell, the 4680 is predicted to deliver five times more energy storage with six times more power, resulting in an increase from 82 kilowatt hours to 95 kilowatt hours in newer Teslas, translating into an estimated improvement in a broad range of up to 16%. Building an EV battery needs to guarantee more capacity, higher power, smaller size, lighter weight, being more straightforward to produce on a large scale, and also having less costly components. In other words, the choice is between cost and performance, which is pretty impressive. Thanks for watching and see you in the next videos.